No matter if you are keeping books for the housing builder or the farmer, one thing remains. The accounting department is never going away. The accountant, you could say we're going to a flat tax and, oh, are you worried about losing your job? No, because we need to keep track of our finances somehow. Pam Trivisano is the owner of her own accounting business, Trivisano CPA Incorporated. Well, I am a CPA, so CPA stands for Certified Public Accountant. Basically, I'm an accountant that I've been licensed by the state of Ohio, and that's why the CPA initials are after my name. She does accounting for businesses and income tax for businesses and individuals. Most people think accounting is boring, and that's what I that's what I want to like break the the mold of, and not that I'm an exciting person, but my day is not boring. Pam says people meet with her at her office on a daily basis. It's not like I'm sitting in my chair all day with not having any um, access to the outside world. She says tax season, which runs from January through April, is the toughest time of year because she's working 70 to 80 hours a week, even on weekends. But the reward is that she can be flexible for the other eight months of the year. A typical workday outside of tax season begins with her sitting at her desk checking emails and voicemail. And I'm trying to get all of those little things done so that I can sit down and start a project. Um, that project might be preparing a tax return. It might be preparing um, journal entries for somebody's accounting system. The tools she uses most often include the computer, fax machine, scanner, and telephone. Usually before noon, I've been interrupted probably five or six times. So one of the, the hardest things to adjust to in a small public accounting firm like myself is just that everything everything is different every day and you've got to drop a project, pick one up, pick up something else. Pam is a public accountant, but there are also private accountants who go and work for just one company. And then there are also bookkeepers who aren't certified by the state and don't necessarily need a college degree. It's actually where Pam first got interested in the field since her mom was a bookkeeper. So my mom was a single mom who didn't have a college education, and but through all of her years of working in an office, worked up to be, I mean, she was a bookkeeper, she was an office, became an office manager, um, and then proceeded to become an executive director of a nonprofit agency. But that was about as high as she could get without having the education. I think my early exposure to an office and how it worked and seeing her do the bookkeeping duties intrigued me. So Pam went to college, worked at a large international accounting firm in downtown Cleveland, and worked up through the ranks for several years. At that point, um, decided to have a family and that life was a little tough when, as a female, as a mom, wanting to have a family. So I decided to cut back a little bit. When her kids grew older, she decided to get back into the workforce and briefly worked as a controller and eventually got into public accounting, which later led to her own company. Pam believes there is a lot of potential in her industry in the next five to 10 years. There's very few accountants who come out of college without a job. And I can't say that about all college graduates. She says there are things you can do while still in school to prepare for a future in her field, like keeping your grades up, improving communication, math, and problem-solving skills. When I say problem-solving, what I like to think about is, do you like to do a puzzle? Because that's what, if, if you sit down and you say, a puzzle confuses me, I don't like it, I'm not patient, I'm not organized, Accountants not, accounting's not going to be for you. If you say, I love to have these thousand pieces, and I love to know, say, I want it, I know it needs to look like this, let me put them together, let me make it work, you might have different tools, you might have a different table or different lighting or whatever to do that puzzle than I do, but hopefully we all come out to that, that end result. It's a game. It's a game. It's like, let me put this stuff together.